Hey guys, my name is Zediak and welcome back to another episode of Snowtopia where your boy is building his very own ski resort. Last episode I learned a big, big feature, or well not feature, I learned something big about the game and how it works is, and that was that you can combine ski slope things, which has completely changed up the whole kind of um, projectory of our resort right now. I discovered that there was a second and even a third entrance which we can also utilize and we made some progressions for people having the ability to kind of almost travel from one side to the other, which has been really good. Now, if you guys are enjoying this, then please make sure you smash the like button down below. If you are new and here, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified that the next episode does come out. But we managed to get to the top of the mountain right now and we need to make some more dangerous slopes going here there and everywhere but before we do we managed to level up as well which has now allowed us to kind of research a lot of stuff so if i go into here for the research in any way we got stuff like we can do the multi-strand cable so strong reinforced cables uh make longer ski lifts which is going to be very important so we'll kind of get that researched can i research multiple things at once yes i can Right, I've done a gear reducer. I don't know why, but we, we chose to do it anyway. And short springs. So that's for the ski toes. I'm actually not using any ski toes right now. Um, snow tires. This is for our volunteers losing valuable time skidding. It's about uh, maintenance. Oh, an extra 100 miles an hour for maintenance speed. We'll get that research as well. Repair training. We'll get that done. Uh, and then it's all about then additional stuff. So service training. Increase the works. Oh, you can. You can only have four items at once research. And okay, that's pretty sweet. We'll get that done then. Anyway, <laughs> we've got lots of new guests now coming in. There's a few issues that we've got on the go. At the minute, we've got 10 skiers waiting for assistance, which these are the peeps who um, kind of need to be saved slightly. Now, your go to rescue crew. We've got a couple of these right now. So if I place one just there. And where else do we have some more skier issues? I'm trying to find in areas where, okay, we can add more of these in. Skier patrol. There we go. Get another one built in. Uh, another patrol one. I'm going to place at the very top. So they can go straight down the slope and just sort anybody out who needs it. Uh, we definitely need some down here as well. Because we literally have nothing over at this side at the moment. So I think it would be... Oh, no, we do, sorry. We do. We don't have any stores. That's what we don't have. So if I get like a... Um, I get all the food stuff over here, like behind. Because I can utilize all this space at the back for this kind of stuff. And then all that space over there can be more slopes coming down. Uh, small fast food will get done. The sunglasses shop. Which is hilarious. <laughs> um, the high altitude kiosk will get in as well. So there's a lot of stuff we're actually throwing down, to be honest with you. Small shelter. There we go. Uh, which will kind of aid them slightly a bit more. We're in front of a builder. I'll probably add a lot in. And we've got queue problems over here right now, which this takes them all the way up to the top just there. So we'll keep an eye on this. We'll kind of see how it rock and rolls. We've got a lot of stuff that needs to be built right now. So we'll have a little bit of a fast forward. So waiting for buildings to get done. Hopefully those skier assistants that they're currently waiting for will also slowly start to reduce as we get more of those ski patrol buildings up and running. But again, we've got to keep an eye on it. A lot of skiers down at the main section right now. I wonder what makes them choose this as opposed to anywhere else. Like, well, I say for anywhere else. I mean, as opposed to, like, this area. Is it because this doesn't have all the, the, the you know, food places and shops right now? Is that what it is? It could be. But these are now slowly getting built. The skier waiting for assistance has heavily dropped in numbers. But it's still pretty much an issue at the moment. Uh, there's a new volunteer in the resort, which is pretty good. So all these buildings are getting done. So we might start seeing more and more people hanging around this kind of entry point to begin with and now we have pretty much have a little bit of a queue problem so we've managed to research the multi-strand cable and that if i remember what that was allowed us to have an extra longer ski lift which is you know very very handy the four person detachable chair lift 
Top speed to the summit. Right. Definitely going to get that research next. Maybe we can replace some of the stuff we've currently got on the go. Um, but we also need to figure out... Actually, before, I won't mess around with this entrance until we got a new thing researched. But we do have to start thinking about bringing more stuff down here. Now, while we do fast forward still, I'm going to check out our skier feedback. Now, the nervous newbies, they need a lot more kind of... Um, Nervous newbies? Whoa, okay, I thought they were like literally the people who want the not as bad ski stuff, but they're the blue ones. Hmm. Okay. So a lot of them want in a little bit more rest, so I feel like we need to put um, some more kind of um, shelters here, there, and everywhere. Uh, and that will kind of hopefully sort a lot of them out. So that is something that we're going to have to build more of. So the small shelter... Um, gives them additional rest so we'll try and get one of these dotted around on each of these areas so i'm trying to put it in sections where it's not gonna trip us up when i want to build another slope or whatnot so another small shelter i mean i i'm sure that there'll be other different variations of shelters in the future but i'm gonna get these on these little areas that we've got on the go. Is that a shelter there? Yeah. So another one just there. So do we need more of these bad boys? I mean, we don't really have anything down here. Which would be kind of uh, important to get something in. Right, get you there. We'll get like a nice little sunglasses shop as well. High altitude food kiosk. Small fast food place. <laughs> which is quite large. The soup place. There we go. Uh, we'll get the snow groomer place building down as well. If I can... Oh, that's too big to get in. All right, we do the ski patrol then. That's a reasonable size. Um, and that's... Yeah, that's, we'll, we'll kind of have that for now. Not bad. So research ski um, t uh, snow tires, sorry. So this for our workers and stuff like our volunteers helps them get to places a whole lot quicker. So that aids us as well as apart from building more and more stuff in general. So those snow tires, where were they? They were um, here. So this allowed uh, all maintenance buildings an extra 100 meters an hour, basically, if that's what it means. Long distance walkie talkies will be kind of effective too. We are we've just reached the repair training. So they can work a little bit quicker. And the first aid will get done next as well. Service training will get you done. I can do one more thing while we're kind of still waiting as well. Aerodynamic seats for chairlifts. Oh, it makes them a lot quicker. That will be a big help when it comes to um getting people around and up and down the hills a lot faster. Man, I'm researching so much stuff right now. I'm researching so much stuff. But we're creating these little hubs, so... it's gonna. Be, I need to definitely increase the speed of our chairlifts. That's 100% a must. There's a lot of people coming down these hills as well. Yikes. So, feedback then for them nervous newbies. We've managed to gain an extra one on top, which is good. So, I want to assume that they're uh, getting a little bit more rest. But I feel like we need... Like a large shelter right now to kind of start progressively moving forward a bit more. Uh, the bald adventurers they also need uh, more black slopes basically. So should we try and build a slope then while we're waiting? The four chair detachable thing has now been researched. Is that a new ski thingy altogether? It is. Right. What's the difference between this and the other one? I mean, it goes a lot further, and it is a lot quicker. Right. I can't upgrade that to being anything else, can I? Not really. So, if I go play mode, do I just need to destroy this to then build this? How does it work? Is that how it works? Well, that needs to go there. 
but this is not connected in any way, shape, or form. So what's the distance of that? It's not very long, but if I quickly get rid of it, to go for a large... Impossible to build uphill? Okay, yeah, I, okay, I do get it. I get what the issue is. There we go. But we're still technically not connected. So that will aid us then to build something like this. And we're still not connected. Oh my goodness me. What are you? You are a builder's lodge. Okay, quickly get rid of you. So what can I put in that's really small? The snow groomer? No. Maintenance building. Ski patrol. Okay, that works there. We'll then get the small shelter in. So we are technically touching and connecting right there, but it's not good enough. And I'll get one more building in. We'll get a fast food joint because it's large. There we go. So it can get through. It's not the greatest or the best. These guys are low-key stuck right now. Not sure what to do. But I'm waiting for all this to kind of um, get all sorted out. Right, is it going to be done? This is now done, which is a black, which goes into a red and a red. If I change this to a black, as, uh, red as well, sorry. That's a blue, that's a green, or should I keep it to a black? Hmm, I feel like these guys are slightly stuck. I'm not sure what they're meant to be doing. They're going to give us terrible feedback as well. I mean, this whole system right now is just a big mess. Like a real big mess. But is that aiding me to... I can't, oh my god, I might even connect it down here. I'm not even connected down here. Right. Does that allow us to get people moving a whole lot quicker? I would assume it does. I can research something to make it even better, apparently. But it should be a whole lot quicker. I feel like this whole little systems right now are just a bit shocking. And I've got to slightly redo them. But um, I do have problems with queues, so... Right, pause. Why is that new thing I can research? So, forced foundations. Oh, maximum gradient increased. Right, we'll get that done as well. But if I delete you, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and get another one in. So if I place you oh, there, bring it right up to here. But I can't do so because it's blocked by a lot of stuff. So if I delete you, delete you. Right. Try again. This completely throws me off on everything I've done so far, doesn't it? Bring it there. That should work out. Again, we're not connected here, but I think I'm gonna... So that comes down that way. Delete you and re-add it back in. How far does this go? Right, if I deleted you. Right. And then the slopes. Get you connected there. It's such a pain, isn't it? Right, you... Get you connected there. Right, 
What's wrong with that? Is it because it's too skinny? I think since I'm trying to pull it right in the in the crevice, aren't I? Right, I thought I did it here instead. Right, there we go. <laughs> I've completely messed up this whole top of the mountain right now. But it should work out for us. Just got to do a bit more building. So that is black. That is blue. That is blue. We are. We do need to actually change one of them to green. So that is going down, which that is green. If I make this green, I make all the green peeps go that way. Which that makes that blue, which comes down to here into a green, then into a green, then into a green. So I could also make this a green. So I've got multiple directions to go to, but then this becomes the black, which goes into a red and a red. So if I make this a red, the normal red dudes can go that way. So it kind of works out in weird ways. That has really minimalized the amount of passengers going that way right now. Does it do the same over here? Not really. you still got the big bulk of peeps wanting to go where they want to go to. So where's my next queue problems? Over here. And that takes us all the way up to there. So if I pause right now. Actually, before I do. Four person detachable there. We're now obviously researching dynamics, which makes the chairlifts a lot quicker. Is that class as a chairlift? It is. So it will make my chairlifts a lot quicker, which is good. So destroy you. And then can I bring this all the way up here? By the looks of it, no. And why? what are we blocked by? Okay, we're blocked by you. How far do you run? To there. So if I deleted this. And then got you going up to here, which I can't. The lift cannot connect to pre-existing slope. Oh, is it because of the way that turns? It might be because of the way that kind of... Oh, that works there. Right, let me see how far I can bring it in. Okay, that works okay-ish. I then just got to finish off the rest of this. So this is just a, like a main route. Which other slopes will connect to it. So a bit of a pain. But it's going to work out in the long run for us because once we finish this research, they're going to be a lot quicker than little chair lifts. These are going to carry more people. They go further. It's all going to be good. It's all going to be good in the end. So now that research is done, speed is definitely boosted up as we've got them aerodynamic seats. So it's interesting. So that's a blue. So the, the ramp's connecting to it. We've got a black and we've got a red. That going down is a red. So that's a blue, but we can make stuff connect to it, which is fine. So we keep flashing up here that skiers waiting for assistance. So we solved some of our queue issues right now. I think we've solved some of them. These are also a lot faster as well. So we don't have to change them, but we've kind of upgraded some of the bulkier ones. So that works out very pleasantly for us. It's a bit ugly in some areas. Um, does many people use this one? I mean, they come down, but are they going down this way? Yeah, okay, some people do use it, which is good. Okay, I suppose that's good in the long run then, right? Yeah. So... About to finish researching then our free slots, which the free slots. What do we just research for free slots? No, we researched reinforced foundations. It meant we an eight person gondola. Alright, get you research. It means I'm now gonna change literally all the ones I've just added in. 
<laughs> uh, that's crazy. Is it classed as a chairlift, though? Um, not a chairlift. Yeah, a chairlift. Is it classed as a chairlift? I'm not too sure. Pilot's license with a helicopter building. Uh, buildings is child's play. We don't need anything big and fancy. Oh, so it increases the builder's lodge. We should get a tea room and a racklet. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's another food stand anyway. We'll grab that. Start feeding everybody. But um, are we seeing any issues? Chairlift over there is doing pretty good. Um, that's going up that way. So I'm going to wait for that eight person gone there till we unlock this. And then take them directly up to the top. Directly up to the top allows us to have a red and a red. So re only minimum reds can go up here. But this is a green. So I'll have like a stop here where you can take the greens that way to connect to that slope. And that's a red, red. And that becomes a little green there. It's all happening. It's all happening for us right now. But we, yeah, we just researched that eight-person gondola as well, which is a max gradient. Does it not have a speed? Max capacity. Ooh, this could be juicy. This right? Where's the? Um, it's right here. So if I add this there, and let's say I took it to to first here, and then should I take the gondola going all the way up, or should I do like a, a generic chairlift as the answer? I'll right, we'll do that to there, which can then take them up to that height. But it's allowing us to bring people up, so then we can bring them back down. That looks pretty amazing. Eight people at a time as well. Yo, we're going to see some crazy stuff happening right now. So once that's built, we'll start seeing people coming in. But we'll only really have the ability to make... Is it the red the red dudes red and and red yeah unless they go up to here then they could be a the black skiers as well so no greens or blues can really come in because there's nowhere for them to go at the minute so that's where i gotta encourage those guys to come in and that's where i would build Something like that. I could build a slope going directly down there. Everything all intertwines and connects and crosses over. But you don't really get much from it. Because you still can't utilize the green dudes anyway. So I'm waiting for this to build right now, which they're currently doing. So that becomes a blue. Obviously, that there's a green. That there's a green. But we do want some peeps coming down this way. So I could... Ooh. Actually, let me cancel all of that. What would be the way to bring green dudes in to make them come down this slope? Um, well, that red's terrifying, isn't it? Well, that works to there. I can get like a, a couple more coming down or oh, down this.
Okay, you can it like that. I gotta do a couple of runs this way. The only problem is none of the green dudes who come in this way can get or can go anywhere unless I connected some more green routes. So that becomes blue. That becomes red. That's obviously green. So I'm wondering if I can actually maybe get away. With doing... A green route. I'm just trying to play with, play around with all of this stuff. Or is this ultimately just going to lead to me having this? As, it's going to lead to me having this as a blue route, isn't it? Nice little narrow route going down. Would that be a green route, though? Because that's the difference. I'm really pushing boundaries with this. It's classes of blue. A couple of blue routes all set up right there. I don't think this side is good for the green dudes. I'll be honest with you right now. I don't think it is. I don't think we want it to be either. So a few more slopes then. There we go. What does that become again? Sorry, that's a blue. That's a red. I'm trying to get like these big drops all in. There's a big drop here I can definitely do something with. What if I brought it this way? Cancel all that. I'm going to do it this way instead. Narrow. Here comes Snow Boulevard. So that would definitely be a red. A red route. There's a lot going on in there. There's definitely a lot going on. That is a red route. Can't argue with that. And that brings a lot of people back down to this side. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it's so treacherous right now getting people to go places. So I then need to change. I, I got to change this then from into the eight person gondola. So destroy you, eight person. But the problem is. You've got to build that up. That's not connected, so you destroy you. Why can't I get that connected now? Should go for like an intermediate, well, a skinnier version. There we go. So gondola there to bring more people up on this side. I feel like down here would need it as well because we do bring a lot of green dudes down there. But I'll wait for this to get built first. And then we're going to definitely need one going up in this direction. Or oh, it might be a bit difficult. We might have the, uh, the, the, the room to build the gondola system. So I bring a lot of people that way. Very good. I feel like we're doing all right. I feel like we got more people, you know, scattered around the, the park a bit more. 
So definitely going to need something over here right now. There's a Q problem, which is this one here, which only really goes up to there. So if I destroyed you, eight-person gondola, can't really do that. But I could put the four-person one. Which is, again, not going to go in. Four-person chairlift instead, then. Is this what I had originally? Well, let me get rid of this. Let's try the four-person four one here. That's not going to work out. So if I delete that real quick... If I delete you, I'm right, making some major improvements. And then brought that there. This is just for my green dudes to have a slope. And I should be able to... You can't, like, edit, like, a really small part of it, can you? Now, is this green? All right, is class as a green route? I'll get rid of it real quickly. All right, we'll get... Green, green. All right, let's see what I can do here. That will be green. And... That's literally that route just there. And somehow I've got to make this a green route as well. Is that coming down green? I mean, it, I don't have to make it that because I can tell it to be a green no matter what. Trying to play around with all of that. We should be okay. And that should put us back to normal. It's great for the builders to get over here. And that should have the capacity to bring all the green skiers up there. So you are blue. We'll make you a green. You are green. Is this almost done? Yeah. Good stuff. So, green to green. I could do a little cut through going down there. You should be... You're blue. Go into a green. So, another green. Again, it's just a way that we can get the beginners where we want them. That's literally all it's for. So, eight-person gondola, amazing. Uh, I've got these new tea rooms and the other the food place as well that I've got to get connected, and, or add them in, I should say. So, that'll bring a lot of people up, gets more people moving. So, pr Q problem now over here. So, yeah, I think it's now time I get rid of you. So, this is going to be fun because I have a feeling that this is not going to be able to fit in. This is going to be really fun to get this in. Alright, destroy a couple of them. Right, I'm going to get rid of you. In the hopes that I can now... Nah, it's not going to work, is it? Uh, lift can't be built on pre-existing slope. Right, 
get rid of all of this. Because I can quite easily place it all back in. It's a case of finding... Right, if I did this... I can delete you. To place that there. To go up there, which works perfectly. To destroy you. To get this large slope connected in. <laughs> what a pain. What a pain we've got to get done. To then have, for example, you connecting off. Oh, damn. Damn, that's going to be juicy. So it means then I've got to get a load of stuff here all built service-wise. So if I start doing all this then, small fast food. Not going to go in, but we'll do the uh, maintenance building. So ski patrol. Uh, builder's lodge. Again, semi-important stuff I do need to get in. Snow groomer. Um, mechanics workshop we'll grab into. So we'll go for you. I'm just going to place over there. We've got a tea room as well. Which would be quite nice. Sunglasses store. Uh, small fast food. All right, a lot of buildings thrown in right there. A lot of buildings. So get all this done then. So that becomes a blue, which coming down there, you've got to be a red. So it has to be a red minimum, unfortunately. All right, is this almost done? So hopefully this can get through the backlog of people right now going up and down it. So any minute now, bam, done. Can people go like down it? I don't think they can, can they? No, it doesn't work like that. But like I said, hopefully that goes for the backlog of people. It'll take a minute or two because there's a lot of people waiting in general. So Q problem, which I know. Again, I'm just going to give it some time. But I think it makes sense as well for us to run a, a slope if possible. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. If I got rid of this, just never had that in in the first place. Red to red, left like that. If I could also aid myself. Does that go up or down? That comes down this way, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, I need like an another alternative way to get people moving. So if that comes down in that direction, you're instead bringing people in. So I think it'd probably be a good idea to maybe have an additional gondola maybe going in a different direction. I mean, it works there to bring people directly down into there. So it takes the heat off the amount of people coming in. So if I then created what a drop. 
Like that for the red dudes? Let's go. Let's go on that right now. But I, again, I, I want some green dude slopes. Okay, that's slightly going uphill, isn't it? Alright, if I build... Or try and get some buildings going in that direction. That will kind of help us out. I a couple of service buildings up here as well. Um, small shelter. Nice delicious tea room. Sunglasses store. That allows us to then go down this hill. Not going to say it's going to be like for the green dudes at all. Is anyone using this now? Oh, maintenance in progress. If I can get people coming up to here right now, I'll take the edge off slightly, but I need a green route. Which is not going to happen here. Obviously. Because <laughs> of yeah, the nature of these routes. But we got some red dudes on the go. So what could I do then to try and get a nice green slope? Let's go the scenic route. And make them just go like the long way around. Uh, that's too much to go down there, isn't it? Would that be enough to be considered a green route? That will be interesting. That will definitely be interesting. That will allow me to get more green skiers off that one as well and bring them this way. So that's quite a long little route, isn't it? That really is quite a long little route. Uh, which is get classed as a blue. I'll make it a green. There's a moderate risk, but hey ho. That bring a lot of green folks going up that ramp as well. Hopefully it then becomes like a little 50-50. Of which way they'll be pretty much wanting to go. So it'll take the edge off that slightly and bring them in the other direction. That's what we're hoping for, right? I'm hoping that's what we're hoping for. <laughs> um, right. Intermediate slope. Because there's some nice little drops. Add a couple in like that. There we go. Let's get a couple of drops in here and there. And I wonder if... The... Is that pushing it too far, trying to bring it all the way back? Yeah, I think we'll, we'll scrap that idea. We'll scrap that idea right now. But there's a few skiers up here. A couple of blue dudes on the scene. Green dudes doing their thing. So you got to hope that it, it has taken the edge off that one little section, right? So I suppose that's good. Uh, maintenance buildings. Anyway, we need to get maintenance. Have we got a maintenance workshop over here? I feel like we already have. It's that one there, isn't it? Yeah. But apparently it does need a bit of maintenance. But, um, okay. Uh, 
Slope man for snow, uh, snow groomer. Right, let's see where we can... Oh, a large shelter. Okay, let's get that underway. But where can we improve... Um, all service buildings have an additional appeal. Okay. Longest and walk talkies. All maintenance buildings. Yep, we'll get you done. Uh, ski toes. Don't need you. Uh, ski toes and... Okay. Reduce the wear on our chair lifts, which would be quite important. So what's our skier feedback saying these days, then? So we could be better in other areas. Those bald adventurers, we could really do with giving them some more black slopes. So we're kind of up the top of the mountain over on this side. And how many black slopes you've got? That's a red. That's a red. Do we have any, like, sheer drops? There's definitely a sheer drop here I can uh, maybe take advantage of. Oh, I'm trying to... Hmm. I don't think it's going to work out too much on that one. The drop is not sheer enough, is it? That's a red one. Um... I'm just trying to see where I can take it from again. There's a nice big chunk of the of black there. See, that does, does us justice to that section. But I, that's not how I want it to run down. So we've also got this to like run like to here. Which that there becomes a blue. I'm hoping that off this little bit, I can create like a little connection like that, just then so that stays separate and gets treated as a black root. So we got a few, you got something additional right there for the the daredevils, the adventurers, if that's what you want to call them. Man, this ski resort is getting ridiculous right now, isn't it? It really is. So some of them are trying to attempt to go down there. Oh, a lot of them do. Oh my goodness me, a lot of them do. That's going to cause queues right now, isn't it? The amount going down. But we should be able to uphold it. We've now just researched the um, adjustable tension. Oh, we've got all of that researched. Uh, two person fit script toe. Okay. Long distance walkie talkies. Get the GPS as well for the maintenance. Longer walk, you know, faster walk speeds basically. Uh, decade storage area, nice. Helmet rental, ooh, that makes it a little bit more safer, doesn't it? That really does. And then we'll eventually be able to unlock the next area very soon. We'll just keep working on our reputation. So pilot's license, builder's lodge, work speed, upgrade that. Right, slowly happening. It's slowly happening, boys. Nice. So reputation then is slowly increasing. Uh, our feedback's getting better. We're now like in the the average grade, basically. <laughs> uh, these guys uh, ski on blue slope for more than seven hundred meters. Yikes! It's a long way to go for blue. I mean, what would this be? I'm not too sure. Eight person gondola? Is that asking for too much to go up to this height? Is 
So yeah, nice little gondola trip up there. On this side. Where would it work out over here? Apparently it's too steep on that side. So if I went for it for there. Oh, I just realized it shows us in length as well how far we're we going. Now, would that be classed as blue or green? I want to say it's classed as blue because there's, there's a couple of uh, red bits in there. But it might scream onto the green because the white bits are less than green, right? Pretty much. I wonder what we can get out of this. So that becomes a blue. It's over 700 meters. So I'm wondering if that would kind of um, satisfy those guys. Probably... Not. But I'm wondering if I can, if I've got room to maybe squeeze. Ooh. You to there. Is that in terms of the height? I mean, it's kind of fun you can do it like that. But I'm wondering if I can build all the buildings. In like the same height leading over. Let's find out. Suit bar. Fast food place. Not really going to work out too much on that distance. Um, ski patrol. Um, snow gruber. Um. Oh wait, do we have the large shelter? Yes, we do. And then I've done a tea room, didn't I? So it does connect, so they can technically ski all the way over. It's not amazing. But it allows the um, the blue dudes or whatever, more people to go over here to go back down that direction. It's a bit funky and awkward. <laughs> but it kind of works in a weird way. But we need more snow groovers. So we'll try and get a few more of these in right now. Now we're not able to squeeze any in on that side. Oh, it's quite difficult to get them in, isn't it? This is going to be quite difficult. Well, I get one in there. Because we're waiting for lots of uh, snow groomers right now. They're pretty much used to make um, the snow nice and smooth for the skiers. Snow groomer. Alright, let's get a fair few in. Is that one there? Yeah, there's already one up there. So, building closed? What happened? The workers are asleep? Oh, dear me. Well, that's not good, is it? That really ain't good. Well, my feedback, we're still trying to pump it up. But I've got that blue ski sloping for these guys anyway, so they've got somewhere to go. It's got to give them time to actually get round to it. But I feel like I've added in so much stuff. We do need to start thinking about 
more of the guests needs but they can pretty much approach the majority of places around the map it's just we got to focus on getting people to where we want them to go and we need more stuff down here as well lots of things we need to do but we'll end it for here guys i hope you did enjoy this episode if you did smash that like button down below and until next time i'll see you all soon so good bye <laughs>